Welcome back for another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to this channel, press the bell for notification when new videos are uploaded so you guys don't miss any new episode. Also, don't forget to press that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and also helps this video be recommended to others as well as sharing this video. Other than that, comment below of what you guys think about this game and let's get this going. All right, guys. I think we're supposed to go to our first crossed one. Whatever that is, I think that's like a duel or something. It's probably the same one that um our character and Sebastian did in that uh, video so last. Rebellion. Lumos. Rodrigo. Lumos. Hmm. Akio. What do I do? Levioso. Oh, okay. Levioso. Okay. Hey man, one of them. One of them is eventually gonna work. It doesn't seem like an underground kind of thing because it looks like it's you? very established. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Eh. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's we'll nice. not a we'll bad nice. duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. Okay. It's our way of determining the score of so duel. duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yes, I am now. I wonder what that prize would be. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I Sorry, agree. I drop something. Besides, <laughs> it took me a while to... in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Funny thing Let is, every, begin. every time I'm playing this and my daughter is watching, we'll make you regret I would just start up. blurting off the uh, the spell names, and she would just counter with other things. It's kind of like we're dueling in words. <laughs> it's the spell casting. <laughs> okay, so yellow shields. Corresponds with the yellow cast spells that you have. Got it. And this black is really horrible. I really do. Thank you for not releasing PS4 at the same time as PS5. And everyone else either has to wait or try to do it on Steam. And Results to this kind of crappy gameplay. Unfortunately. Gotta get used to the, uh, the battle. Because I'm, I'm not timing the, uh, the dodging and the pego. Options. I'm not timing them that well. Oh, 
Man, I got, I got really, I really got a practice. Let me I can't do my music. There we go. Glad I didn't bet on that round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see right, you we're going to do again. some flu flames real quick. Unlock some more areas. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Revelio. Lumos. Another adventure, are we? <laughs> Lumos.
What about I was the thinking room, the same Professor? Thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Hmm. So we get to do extra credit. Because you're a fifth year and you have to catch up. Fine by me. Rebellion.
Rebellion. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes it a broken object good as handy. new, more frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Brilliant. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. 
If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I don't know why I'm helping her, but here we go. Uh-oh. I think I'm about to lag. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's go. gobstones. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and Which movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, one mending. at the ready. Meaning they're repairing? Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. A reparo. Okay. Ending. I think she. I think he did mention it a while ago. I just probably don't remember. Oh, there That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Prepare. Nicely done! Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Levioso. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what there all the fuss go. is about. Found one. We'll just grab all the stones there. She's she's lost. Whatever. Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You can't imagine how inconvenient Java was before I invented Lumos. Protego. Lumos. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Accio. All right, this this turned out to become a good thing because I'm actually exploring the Hogwarts castle, so it's good. I'm going on areas that I probably would have never went to if it weren't for me needing to go there for a mission. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. My young friend. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Rebellion! Off on another adventure, are we?
Let me also. Lumos. Akio. Revelio. Hello, really? Terivia. I found I didn't your think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Akio! Revelio. I don't mind saying that I find it hard to comprehend. What sort of witch would take that man's hand? I suppose I don't think it means his hope for us lot. In my opinion, divination is a load of rubbish. Well, fancy meeting you here. Revelio. Rebellion. Hello, Sebastian. Ah. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, 
I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked Oh, hey, this today. is the first time I actually As exited I. the uh, Hogwarts Thank Castle, you, so... Way. Of course. Where are we going? Revelio. The, the way I see it, I'd be yeah, wise to keep an eye on you. Okay. <sighs> Did he react to my spellcast? That's weird. We'll probably explore it later. My whenever we have free roam. And we don't have any kind of missions to get to. Right now I'm in the middle of it. Speaking so of I don't, easy, I don't wanna, she seems to have taken quite a shine time. to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you Lace stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Mm, okay. Ah, uh, that took forever. Come on. Revelio. Revelio. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Revelio. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? <sighs> Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying I shall be at the castle where it's safe good luck to both of you oh, let's try we're going to Hogsmeade yeah totally forgot about that yeah I'm supposed to grab some wand some potions and some other things for class can wait for the wand selection I wonder if it's gonna be the same way Revelio. Oh, this. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade.
an inquiring mind. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? 464? That's all I have? Oh, I well, good thing the two I the items that I'm looking at. If Pretty you're good. interested, feel free to take a look what? around at the rest even... of my inventory. What do you mean? I can't even afford anything. Okay, one. Four I'm not getting paid enough though, as a student, to be honest. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> I'll probably go to uh, Ollivander next. I think it was closer. Rebellion! Let's see what's going on here. Huh? Some pages. Where is it? Did I miss it? I'm still wondering how to open these chests. Comment below and let me know how, like, how do you guys open them? I'm assuming I have to progress further into the, uh, the story. Repair But, like, I don't get it. I will go to Ollivander next. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? 
<laughs> um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Is he gonna show it? Go on. Oh! Oh, you can actually create it. Okay. I'm gonna take my time here. I don't know what I'm looking for. Probably something for it. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How okay, intriguing. I think this is what we're going for. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're going with uh, this one. Classic black. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> 
Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Rebellion. Alright, that was fun. I'm gonna look at some stuff real quick, but that's it for this one. Make sure you like this video, comment, and let me know what you guys think about this wand selection where they're actually allowing you to create your own wand. That's actually, a, I think it's actually pretty nice and decent. You know, you're not stuck with something that, you know, something generic that the game would give you so i actually i kind of like it appreciate it but, uh let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that one and share this video as well other than that um subscribe to this channel press that bell for notification and i will see you guys on the next episode